My name is Jeffrey Gibson. Um, I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I live in upstate New York. Uh, my studio is in Hudson, New York. And I suppose um, I'm probably known in both a mainstream contemporary art world and also in a contemporary Native American art world. I'm known mainly for making paintings and sculptures. Um, the paintings tend to be acrylic paint on rawhide. And the sculptures sometimes have rawhide in them. And mostly, lately, I'm making adorned punching bags or these small figures that are also heavily adorned. And most of the references do come from powwow outfits and um, just seeing the way people use materials, the way that trade items came into it. So I do also look at a lot of museum collections to get inspiration and ways to use different materials. I'm not really a video artist. I've made a couple of one-shot videos, meaning that it's just a camera set up and it's usually just me in front of it. This is, uh, this is a huge production in comparison. The um, crew is about four people, five people, and then the performers, I think we're going to be up to about 20, 25 performers. But then there's also the museum staff. And I chose to work in video because my work that I make is really labor intensive and it would have been difficult to do it here on site and I'm not sure it would have really done everything that I want it to. Most times when people see my work they don't really know where the references are coming from. So the video is really exploring um, people who are involved in the local powwow community here. When you're walking through collections, I am aware now of that it's intertribal, that it's intergenerational, that there are certain things that some people know how to read, some people don't know what they are. The designs belong to certain people, they belong to certain families, certain clans. So there's all this information that I think, um, like, you know, one, like a bead is never just a bead. It like has to do with the design that it's in, with the color the year that it was made, like certain beads are not made anymore. So that's really my interest, is in using this video to tell as many different stories as possible and um, to show that as much as people think of, whether you say indigenous, First Nations, Native American, American Indian, we always think of that as one thing, but it's actually you know, hundreds of thousands of individuals all with different stories. You know, there's all of these um, communities around the country that are living with some autonomy, some sense of independence. Um, they have their own languages, they have their own practices, their own customs, which really, I think, is what a lot of Americans are looking for. Just Americans, whether you're native or not native. You know, um, people um, understand community and they understand how they want to do things in a particular way that, that serves their community. So I think um, politically, socially, you know, these are all things that are really important in the contemporary art world to, to critically think about. And I just started finding more and more examples, uh, alternative examples in contemporary Native world that I feel like many people, they've managed to stay under the radar somehow. And most of them you find at powwows. Well, I will be there, and um, I'll have one member from my studio from New York will be there as well, and um, we're going to be adorning one of the punching bags, which is probably one of the pieces that I'm most known for. You know, the punching bags are really meant to act as a image and an object of resilience, of pride and of honor, and having other people will come in and work on it and basically attach whatever it is they want to it. And of course, we'll be working with beads as well to create panels to stitch onto the, the punching bag. Um, we'll be there to show them how. I mean, there's nothing in my practice, and this is kind of the way that I choose to work, that is particularly difficult. Um, everything becomes complex in the way that it accumulates and it layers on top of each other. But the actual process can be done by a child, it can be done by an elder, it can be done by someone who doesn't know how to bead. Um, and I think that that's, um, you know, collectively will make this beautiful object. And, um, and so we'll have a chance to talk. We'll also show some of the footage from the video that we've been shooting here. Um, we'll hopefully have a very rough cut trailer by that point. Um, and yeah, so they'll be able to ask any questions, take part. I'll get to be here for the powwow itself and we'll just get to know each other.